Hello dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the three marks questions of model paper of physics from first PUC. Without wasting the much time, let me move on to the today's class children. The three marks question that is from part C children. That is from part C. The part C starts from the 30th question children. See children, let I read the question. 30th question that is check the consistency of the equation half mv square is equal to mgh using dimensional analysis symbols have usual meanings children they have to they have said we have to check the consistency of the given equation children let i write here uh, that is 30th question uh, half mv square half mv square is equal to mgh children mgh children let i consider a lhs part first lhs is equal to m and we have given velocity mass into velocity square what is m children the what is the dimensional formula for mass that is m to the power of 1, l to the power of 0 and t to the power of 0 children. And next for that like velocity m to the power of 0, l to the power of uh, 1, t to the power of minus 1. We have a square children so we should square it. Let me add the both. What do we have? m to the power of 1 plus 0 that is m to the power of 1. And L to the power of 0, L to the power of 1. That is L to the power of 1 itself. Then T to the power of T to the power of 0 into T to the power of minus 2. Why minus 2 children? Oh sorry children. This is L to the power of 1 into 2. It is 2 children. T to the power of minus 1 into 2. It is also minus 2. Next we move on to the LHS part. LHS. Sorry. RHS part children. RHS is equal to M G H. The dimensional formula for M is e, M to the power of 1, L to the power of 0 and T to the power of 0 children. And for gravity that is M to the power of 0, L to the power of 2, sorry L to the power of 1 and t to the power of minus 2 for height it is m to the power of 0 l to the power of 1 and t to the power of 0 children let me have these three m to the power of 1 plus m to the power of 0 plus m to the power of 0 is always m to the power of 1 itself then l to the power of 0 plus 1 it's 1 and 1 plus 1 it is 2 uh, next t to the power of 0 plus plus into minus 2 that is L to the power of minus 2 children. Now we compare LHS part is equal to RHS part dear children. They have asked check the consistency. The given equation is correct. Let me move on to the 31st question. Take down this children by pausing the video. Let I erase it. Children, uh, 31st question says that derive the expression for time of flight of projectile. Children, they have asked derive the expression of time of flight of projectile. Let I write the diagram, children. That is the 31st question. 31st question. Let I write that simple diagram to derive. The diagram is very, very important, children, to derive. Uh, let I take this as a y axis and this as a x axis. This is 0. We want to draw the parabola children. This is parabola. And you all know that the initial velocity it will be u sin theta children. And here is an acceleration. 
uh, acceleration is minus d because it is in the reverse direction. This is you all know that that is t time. Here, children, you have also observed in parabola the velocity is going to zero along the y axis. Velocity is going to zero in the y axis, children. Let me let me derive the equation. We all know that v is equals to u plus a t. V means velocity. This is initial velocity plus acceleration into time. Here, children, we will consider it as in the y axis vy is equals to uy plus ay because in the y axis, children, t. Here, we have a velocity is 0. We can write here v is equals to 0 and uh, u. What is u? It is u sin theta. u sin theta plus acceleration is equal to minus g then t u sin theta sorry children this is comma uh, t is equal to see children it has half means it will be the t by 2 let i substitute in the equation where as a v v is 0 in u u sin theta uh, plus sorry plus into minus minus g this is acceleration is minus g into t means t by 2 children let i take this part into rhs side it will have becomes g t by 2 is equal to as it is u sin theta what do we have to prove we need a time means i will keep the time here and the 2 is multiplied with u sin theta, it will be 2 u sin theta. And next, this g will come to the denominator, children. Then 2 u sin theta divided by g. This is what we got the equation for time of flight. Pause the video and take down into your notes, children. I will erase this. Children, we will move to the next question that is 30 second question. 30 second question. Uh, list any three methods of reducing friction they have asked children. We want to give three methods to reduce the friction. Uh, first we will give by lubrication method. By lubrication method. Children, we will use the lubrication method in automobile vehicles, children. We will use this in engine and the brakes and much more parts. It will reduce the friction, children. It is lubricating. You have also know about the lubricating oils. And next, we move to the... Uh, by streamlining. By streamlining, children. N-I-N-G. By streamlining, this is also seen in the automobile field, children. Next, we will go to um, uh, by using using ball bearings. Ball bearing. bearing. The ball bearings also used in the cycles and the motor vehicles. To fit the wheel children, you have all know that. Uh, next, we will give another one. We can reduce the friction by, we can reduce the friction by using, by using wheel to move the body children it will say that 
we can you we can reduce the friction by using wheel to move the object children let i take an example as this is a duster if we keep in the surface and we will push we will observe that it will be dis difficult when we give the four wheels to this duster it can be more easy there will be the friction is less children that is the what the fourth point is saying uh, next we move to the numerical children that is the 33 the question number 33 let i erase this take down into your notes children Children, that is a 33rd question. Question number 33. 33 question says that this is a numerical from work energy and power children. You should all know that from work energy and power, they will ask only numerical for 3 marks. They will not ask any derivation or a question children. You all keep it in your mind. Let I read the question once. A cyclist comes to a skidding stop in 10 meter. They have given a displacement. A cyclist come to a skidding stop. He will stop in a 10 meters. During the process, during the process, the force of a cycle due to road is 200 Newton and is directly opposite to motion. How much work does the road do on the cycle? They are asking how much work is work does the road road do on the cycle? Let I write the given data, children. Given data given data they have given displacement that is displacement meant that i will take as a x you can take any variable children that is 10 meter next they have given force force f is equal to 200 newton children you all know the equation for work children that is w is equal to f into x you all know that work is equal to what is force that is 200 newton into what is x it is 10 let me multiply we will get uh, 2000 joule what is the SI unit of work? That is good. So I have given the SI unit as job. This is the answer. This is very very easy numerical. They have asked in 3 marks question dear children. Let me move on to the 34th question. Let I erase this. Children. The 34th question, the next question is 34th. They have asked, derive the relationship between torque and angular momentum, children. Torque and angular momentum, you all know that vector L is equal to vector R into vector P. Let us differentiate on both sides, children. It will be dL by dt is equal to let me apply the uv rule you have studied in the mathematics of limits and derivatives chapter it is comes in calculus that is uv rule children what the uv rule says differentiation of first term and keep the second term as constant plus keep the first term as a constant and differentiate the second term let me differentiate that will be uh, dr by dt into p that I keep that like that and plus first term is constant that is r vector r and into dp by dt differentiation of p with respect to time children we all know that here dr by dt but dr by dt is equal to vector v children you have all know that and as well as we can write p as m into vector v and dp by dt means you all know that 
इट इज फोर्स वेक्टर फोर्स चिल्ड्रन वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट दैट चिल्ड्रन डीआर बाई डी टी इज इक्वल टू वी मीन्स वी विल गिव दी इन टू पी मीन्स एम इन टू वी प्लस आर इंस्टेड ऑफ डी पी बाई डी टी आई विल गिव वेक्टर एफ मीन्स फोर्स चिल्ड्रन सी चिल्ड्रन दिस इज दिस इज डी एल बाई डी टी सी चिल्ड्रन वी वेक्टर वी इन टू एम वी वॉट हैपन्स मीन्स एम इन टू वेक्टर वी इन टू वेक्टर वी वी हैव टू वेक्टर वी सो दिस वेक्टर वी वैल्यू विल बी जीरो चिल्ड्रन एम इन टू जीरो देन द टोटल आंसर ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन विल बी जीरो then what we have left we have left r vector r into vector f children you we all know that the symbol for torque uh, i will give as is equal to vector r into vector f What is vector r into vector f? That is dl by dt by dt. This is what the relationship we got. What for the torque and angular momentum, children? Let us stop today's class here. Let me discuss remaining four question of three marks in the next part of the video. Video, children. I hope you have understood this class. If you have understood. please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel children thank you you are i hope you are all studying well thank you children